Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ServiceNow Flow Designer training. In this video, you will learn about send email core action. In different scenarios, you might need to send different emails from different rackets of ServiceNow system. You can do that with Flow Designer. And the action we have is send email. So let's see in my personal developer instance that how exactly you can send email with Flow Designer. So I have already opened Flow Designer in a new tab and I will create a new flow first. Here I will mention demo.send.email and I will click on submit. We will do it from incident table. So when exactly we want to send this email? So I will mention here, let's say while creation or maybe on updation. So here I can mention, I can just select the table. I can mention, I mentioned table. So I have to put incident table. And here I can mention the condition. Then when exactly I want to trigger this flow. So flow that that will be short description. Uh, I will just mention changes. If short description is updated and short description starts with application if that's the word we get in a short description when when incident is updated i will click on done here i will add action so for email you have an action that is send email action i can click on this now it will it will ask me to provide some inputs so that we can send email to the specific recipients now here is asking for the target racket. Now which target racket we are talking about? Now that target racket is this one. So I can just select incident racket updated. That's it. Table is automatically selected. If you want to include watermark in the sent email, then you can just check this box else not. And I will show you that it has that watermark as well. And then you have this uh, to now to whom you want to send this notification. So you can select it from this data picker as well. So I will just select from here and we will send it to maybe assignment group. So we will select assignment group. So this notification will be sent to assignment group. You can put PP, uh, people in uh, CC, you can put people in BCC as well and you can put the subject line. So here I can mention, um, let's say uh, app application notification so this will be application notification now here I want to add incident number now how can you do that you, you don't have to write right you want dynamic incident number for incident every incident number I should be able to see data here so what you can do you can just come over here you can expand this and I will show you. So you want number field to be populated in subject line. So I will go to number. I will go to number field. So we have number here and you have to click it and you have to drag and drop here and just drop here. You, you will automatically get this plus plus uh, logo, this icon. And you just click on that. You just leave the just drag and drop. And leave the leave the cursor leave your mouse button and then you will be able to get this number that means now the subject line will have application notification and then you have this number and if you want to send let's say configuration item even in the subject line so you can select again you can go to configuration item pull it and now you can just populate it here but I think this time it might show society so what you can do for name you can just go to configuration item 
expand it again i think can you expand it yes we can so i will expand it and i will go to name basically so you can check the name yes we have name here i will pull it and i will just drag and drop here so this will application notification number and then you will have configuration item here is the subject body which is the html one and you can just mention that hi now even in body you want to basically mention assignment group so what you can do go to your instant record go to your assignment group and here you have name so in your assignment group you can just select name we have name here and i can just mention here i can just drop you can say hi this comma and this is app notification thanks just maybe service now that's it so we have this one and now so we have body we have subject we have two recipients and that's it and i can just click on done and i can click on save so and then i can click on activate and you have to remember that it will only do that it will only trigger this uh, flow when this short description will start with application word moreover it has to change so that's the condition we have mentioned so and this is for existing incidents so now i will test this i will go to incidents and i will open existing incident any existing incident maybe this one i will open this and we will check whether we have configuration item or not so we don't have configuration item so let's select any uh, configuration item because that's how you can get those information in in email as well so i will search for email and i will select assignment group as well assignment group will be maybe application development and i will save this so this is saved i have updated it however if i go here and see the execution you will see nothing because condition has not matched yet so i will come here this time i will change this and i will provide application word here application and now i will save this and i will see if i am able to see the execution so i will click here absolutely so our flow got triggered and if i will open this flow you can see the transaction so yes it says completed so email was sent successfully yes it was sent successfully one thing you have to remember that and that's a i shouldn't say loophole of uh, flow designer if let's say you have multiple actions here in in this whole flow here basically and you have added multiple uh, actions and you have multiple steps and you have added one email step email action if this action will not be able to find recipients during execution then this will fail it will go in error and rest of other steps will not be executed so you have to make sure that data is available that means this flow is getting executed when you have same data available in the record which you have selected as a recipient that is something you have to remember now you can see it has executed it has sent the notification how exactly i can check this i can basically check in email logs so here we have email logs i will sort it by created absolutely you can see here and if i open this so this is the record got created it says send send ready the re reason it cannot be sent because uh, we have not activated it in our instance so now i will click on this preview html body i will click on this so you can see the exact email which has been sent so you can see hi application development if you remember we mentioned the name of the assignment group this is app notification we also have water watermark and we have thanks service now 
and important part is you have this subject you can see application notification we have number we have configuration item that was the dynamic data you added these are all uh, recipients this is the body we have and this is the headers that's how you can send notification with flow designer via this send email action without any line of code without any coding in ServiceNow platform. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my channel and videos, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like my videos and comment on my videos and share my channel and videos. Thank you and have a great day.